All right, let's act like we. I just started now. Yeah. So, I forgot to save a little bit, but um, that's only a momentary backtracking, all right? For now, I'm going in the community center, and I, of course, have now finally remembered what I was going to talk about. Oh, fuel's stupidly expensive. <laughs> You're telling me. Ah, uh, jeez. You settle down, Ben Lee. Don't lever yourself off your seat. Eesh. Huh? Moon's been coming apart for decades now. The more it crumbles, the more penance seems to happen. It's because of sin, right? Don't you think the pieces of the moon could fall on us? Eesh. I'd punch it back into orbit with my own fist, girly. Thanks, Ben Lee. Yeah. Stop sneaking into my house at night. My couch is filthy. What a great man. Thanks, Ben Lee. So about two weeks ago, as of upload, probably, House 8 was trashed yesterday. That's unfortunate. Just got crushed or something. Sheesh, that's so unfortunate. Ah, Robin. This is what the penance does to those that commit sin. It's more than judgment. Than... It's been more judgmental than before. It's getting me. I'm getting a bit paranoid. As proud as I can be, but I can still feel me. My daughter could wrong him somehow and be punished. She could earn a place for me and her in City 1. She finally relax. There's no penance there. Hoping to clean up around here in addition to my job. Hopefully earn favor for myself. That would be nice, huh? Ooh, hidden house. Isn't that cool? So, I'm gonna maybe actually... You know what, let's just talk to people first. Just because I'm gonna 100%... Anyways, Robin, my wife, all she did was search for better spots to simply pick mushrooms. Yeesh. Strip up a few maps or some caves. Shared a couple. There's nothing in the scripture about doing that. <laughs> Do you have those maps? Hello, Robin. Are you here to help somebody again? Mr. Andreas is upstairs. Don't you think it's about time you changed your ways? I know you're doing this, and you can't go on like this forever. I can't save your soul for you. Man, I'm going to show you something so awesome. Check it out. I mean, this wrench isn't as awesome as yours, but I bet none of you even have the one you have. Holy. What do you think you're doing, pal? I'm the only one that's allowed to have <laughs> an unlicensed wrench. I would never want to see you succumb to such a needless demise. Robin, please leave. You're a bad influence. Yes, that's right, fellas. We're bad influences. Heck yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, uh, hi. Can we maybe talk some other time? I'm pretty busy with the t uh, project is done soon, though. I see. Interesting. Well, great. How am I supposed to open this chest if I can't even get... Hum. Well, I guess I'll just go up, then. Oh, it's Elro! How you doing? My brother, the older brother character. Fun. <laughs> Would have liked to spend some time with you, but uh, you know where the concern is now. Let's not talk about that, though. Yeah. Take this ivory slip to the Progerian in the church. Even if we fix the problem inside, the dang rack shack, ramshack will still need to be... F Anyways, whatever. Sorry I can't spend more time with you, Robin. Well, that's alright, Elro. I didn't even know you existed until just now. I guess I should save the game just because I always forget to do that. Yep. So, about two weeks ago now... The Multiverses trailer came out, and I watched it um, about a week ago, right? And that was fun. Um, and I think I've talked on the channel before about um, things that make me cry consistently. And uh, apparently, just the Iron Giant saying Superman, that voice clip alone, makes me tear up. Because I just love the Iron Giant so much. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that'll probably get me in trouble just for fun. Um, about how people are apparently upset that the Iron Giant is in a fighting game because he's like a pacifist. But like, he looks up to Superman. <laughs> so, for one, there's a there's a way of doing things like that without him just like explicitly like beating the crap out of, out of Bugs Bunny, you know? Um, you and your magic card. You do your magic, and I'll help if you need it. Wow. The moon's looking real ugly now, yeah. What is it? You said you have to leave again right away. Why? 
Well, the concern job is forcing me as always. Is that supposed to be an insult? No. Is your job really that important? The house is broken. She's fixing it. Anyways. See house 8 when you came back? Are you being mean to Robin of all people? I'm just fearing for our lives. There's no hiding from the penance. Like how the penance caught us all other times Robin helped, you mean? Can't pay for government services anyway with this ivory fuel shortages. Yeesh. Anyways. Doing what? I'm pretty dang useless already. If your attitude's been anything to go by. And it doesn't work like that. You can't just switch jobs. How are you doing, Robin? I just, uh... Anyways. Oh boy. I think I'm done fixing the house. Oh no, hedonism. <laughs> Robin, you little rascal, you're doing the thing. And you, Elro. Oh boy, such insubordination. Woe is us that we partake in such depravity and so on. Anyways, he respectfully wishes you to experience penance within your given home. So don't resist and you'll be back home in bed before you know it. Just close your eyes and think of daddy. I guess sin runs in your blood. You infect your community, destroying common sense. I need to leave. Exits are sealed and ready, ma'am. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna head to Chrome's camp, I think. Oh, good. We're not supposed to be showing him his future dominion anymore, then. And I hate the boy as much as you people. You're willing to ignore mother's wishes for that? Oh, jeez. Royal. Quite a name. Sheesh. Little royal freak is obsessed with himself. Badly raised. Yeah. Well, she'll spend the night with that noisome freebooter. That sucks. We did it, guys. We got our brother killed. <laughs> Didn't we kill that thing earlier? Sheesh. That sucks. Hey! A noisome freebooter! I really should be able to reprogram these stupid doors by now for so many times. The yellow wire is key, but I only see an Aurelian wire. Or, uh, anyways, whatever. Putting a seed in there, screw the risk. <laughs> well, that's convenient, eh? Is this, is this, is the guard a prisoner, too? I'm out of seeds. I was lucky to. The previous door wasn't as solid as a tree trunk, huh? What do you do with a wrench? This thing? Yeah, wake me up already. Sheesh. Think you can open the door over there so we can get out of here? Anyways. Hope we get you somewhere safe after we get out. I don't know your story or anything. Unless you want to be dead, you know, let's get out of here and show those idiots they can't hold us. Oh, she's a pirate, huh? Interesting. Maybe just disgusted as me. Samba always said I need to do something about my smell. No point in physical strain if you have nothing to show for it, I say. Oh, nice. You probably want that big wrench over there. Yes, I do. I want my big wrench. See, we did it. Made that look way too easy. You got your stuff? Some ass must have taken my dagger with him. Seems loaded. It's an unbalanced tray, but I call it reparations. <laughs> nice! Shotguns. Now here's the fun part where I can't actually um, do this cool thing known as switching characters, which you would think you would be able to do when it says party, but you can't. So yeah, cool. Okay, you have to stand on top of it. This is a a real doki doki panic kind of thing. Uh, So, as I was saying, I think that there's maybe a difference between, like, wartime aggression, which is what the Iron Giant was all about, and just, like, kind of self-defense type stuff, which also kind of occurred in the Iron Giant. Sounds like a lot of people in the next room. If we're going to get through, we go ahead. We better stay quiet so they don't hear us moving. Try only to move when they're making a lot of noise. Oh, wonderful.
You were overheard. Sheesh. That was quick, huh? I once heard a joke about paper. It was terrible. Wow. Two people walk into a bar. They both had concussions. That's hilarious. Wow, that is the most hilarious thing I have ever heard in my entire life. But, um... So... Like... I'd say there's greater importance in the Iron Giant just not being a gun. Which is kind of the whole point. So he was created as like this earth destroying being, right? But um <clears throat> instead he decided to defend Hog Hug from the United States government. You know? Um and that was all nice and stuff. And I guess there's still aspects of um huh? Oh jeez. I don't want to be caught by those guys. Oh, good thing they moved the statue over here, huh? That's nice. So I get that. That doesn't that isn't beyond me. And like when he gets himself blown the heck up, that isn't beyond me. Um in terms of like it being less self defense and more pure defense, you know? Acting as a shield and all. Chuck on this, eluders. What? Oh boy. How am I supposed to get rid of this thing? I see. Nice. We did it, guys. We're gonna beat the boss, probably. See? Look at how bad it is. Probably. Anyways. Well, that was quick. This thing really dies easy, huh? But, um... That's kind of my deal. Like, I, I can understand why people kind of were upset about the scene in Ready Player One, because that was actually like a war scene. And they were acting as the aggressors. But I, I wouldn't say that, um, I don't know if I can, um, agree with it on terms of, like, um, just being in a fighting game. Try something stronger. I'm trying something stronger. Why didn't you take care of that dang, dang thing that was flying at me? There we go. Very nice. But I also still kind of like that scene in Ready Player One, if only because the Iron Giant was present, and I like the Iron Giant. So, I am kind of hoping that, for one, the Iron Giant is still massive in the game. And I also, again, feel like there are ways to do the character justice without him specifically, like, decking Bugs Bunny in the face or something like that. Oh, that looks, um, that looks breakable. Mm -hmm. Maybe later then. Alright. I'm glad y'all could see that, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to explain why I thought that was going to be interesting. Reliable water scooter. Let's hope it can seat too. Yeah, I sure hope so. We're only halfway underwater. That's nice. I'm still here. Oh, jeez. It sure was a scooter. Sheesh. Let me guess. Water level? Oh, boy. That's... Honestly, really good... Wave sounds for the, the bits. Huh? Take him to the captain. Uh, a lot has happened very quickly for no reason. Hmm. Unfortunate souls floating lifeless in the night. What horrible events have brushed against your fate? Now, I, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a while, personally, since since I saw the Iron Giant. 
but I would still argue the same thing that um I don't know conscientious objection and pure flat out pacifism have overlaps but they're not entirely the same thing and it, I guess in the part of it just being a general brawler you don't exactly have a reason to beat the heck out of each other but uh, I guess that's going to be unveiled during the story of a uh, good old multiverses and um, I'm glad that I have something else to be kinda hyped about uh, now that Smash is kinda of done cause I th I got to a point with Smash where I I was more hyped about the reveals than the characters themselves a little bit <laughs> I love helping except that I can't help you get out of this desert perhaps look around a bit but be careful well I'll be in the cave to the far right of here. Great. Hum. Anything to the left? Of course there is. I can't go below here, because why would I? Anyways, hum. I sure hope there's a place for me to save the game. Oh! Number of possible, t expanded number of possible tweaks to craft. Isn't that nice? Aha! A saving point! Aha! A thing! I procured Improvium. That's nice. So, let's see. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's, uh... Didn't benefit me at all. For now, I'm just gonna leave it there. And we'll explore this sandy area on the next episode of Iconoclasts. But... I felt like I had something more to say on the multiverses point. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that kind of is it, though. That, um... People kind of get upset by the idea of the Iron Giant doing any kind of fighting. When it's not like he didn't do any kind of fighting in the movie. Even in just, like, normal Iron Giant phase. And... Hell, you could have him, like, doing a cannonball as a move. And... <laughs> Again, I'd say that that fits more into intention than anything else in terms of like what doing real damage is or pacifist fighting style or some crap like that. But I mean, that's just me really wanting to do. Uh, I want the Iron Giant to be in the game, all right? I, I want to be able to play as the Iron Giant, all right? Uh, um. I wanna, I wanna have some wacky mechanic where the other characters can like beat the crap out of me and have pieces fly off that like come back together. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna freaking intercept a in a intercontinental ballistic missile and say super bad and all that jazz because I love the movie so much. But I'll leave it there. I'll spare you my ramblings about the Iron Giant for now, even though I didn't at all do that. <laughs> Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe, or Superman. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.